Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bight Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Croatia versus Canada. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international Andrei Kramaric. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And they kick off here. Eustachio. Well, a fabulous Canadian story has been written under coach John Herdman Stewart. You and I remember watching them back in 1986 in Mexico, the last time they qualified for the World Cup. I think it's fair to say they have a better, more complete squad this time round. Absolutely. 1986 wasn't a good tournament for them. But they've had a great qualifying campaign ahead of Mexico, ahead of the United States. And as you said, they do look a better team. Hopefully they can get their first win and first goals in this tournament. Jonathan David. And that's an important intervention. Mario Pasalic, Andrei Kramaric, and the ball with Hutchinson. There's a slide draw pass. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? He could really get at the opposition. Who can he pick out? Chance to finish. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout?
Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Look at Modric. And space to cross it. Well played in from the flag. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Let's see about the delivery. Kovacic. Here's Modric. Here's Kovacic. Well, it wasn't a taxing save. Kovacic. Look at Modric. On to Perisic. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. He had to score, and he does. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. off again 2-1 the current state of affairs Tejon Buchanan after the foul a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick Fantastically taken free kick, but no reward. Yeah, whenever he steps forward, I expect him to hit the target, and he's only inches away there. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And a fantastic diving save. And the short option preferred. Ivan Perisic. It is to be a throw in. Kovacic. Could cross it in here. Kovacic. Oh, great attacking play. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper.
And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Johnston. Alistair Johnston. Well, spot on with that challenge. Mateo Kovacic. And return to Modric. Determined defending. Jonathan Osorio. On to David. The ball with Luka Modric. Luka Modric. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Easy save. Jonathan Osorio. Body in the way. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Beautiful pass. Kramaric. The referee knew that was... This could square the game. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Mateo Kovacic. Perisic. And he read it well defensively. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Modric. Perisic, decent ball, well he put the cross into the right place but no one able to finish it off, good officiating, waiting for the play to stop and now going back to caution him, Jonathan Osorio giving the ball away Modric now Brozovic nicely cut out and scope for them to produce something exciting and the referee is quite rightly letting it go and the cross not sufficiently well played in Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Eustachio. And the ball with Hutchinson. Jonathan Osorio. Atiba Hutchinson. And using his body to good effect. Trying to get right into his face. Mario Pashanic.
Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. This attack looks highly promising. He's protecting it effectively. Really vital interception here. Ivan Perisic. Bonna Sosa. And now Perisic. And now with Kovacic. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Atiba Hutchinson. Into the final 20 minutes. How about the cross? And cuts inside. A really sumptuous ball. And reading it absolutely superbly. Josip Juranovic. Mario Pasalic. Perisic with the ball. And they couldn't keep possession. Opportunity in the wide area. He takes aim. And fine goalkeeping. Now sending it in. Well thumped clear. And given away. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Mario Pasalic. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Overcooked that one. Mateo Kovacic. Modric. Ivan Perisic. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Kovacic. Here's Modric. And the keeper, there to deal with it. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. He's given it away. Well, they're sitting ever deeper on the attack in the closing phase. Kramaric takes the shot. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Eccentric goalkeeping. Well, a big sigh of relief. That nearly proved costly. Well, he got away with that one, didn't he? It's a good recovery, though. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Steven Eustachio. And the ball with Alfonso Davies. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. And there goes the final whistle. Canada have done it. Canada have won. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.